What up? Welcome back. Welcome back. You're <laughs> welcome. Hi. Hello. I'm Caitlin. I'm having a hard day. I'm hungover and exhausted. Hi, Danielle. I'm. That's a punching sound effect. I am Danielle, and I'm having a good day, but I don't want to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> uh, we're our time of the month when we're together. And when we're apart, it's probably just my time of the month. It's pretty much always your time of the month. I know. Periods, man. <laughs> okay, so we are doing our favorites. If you've watched this video before, either ours or someone else's, you know the gist. If you're new, uh, we're going to talk about five of our favorite things recently, the things that we keep reaching for, using, pulling out of the dirty laundry because we want to wear it again even though we just wore it. Uh, you know, we're going to start. As always, we go top down. down. Start with the noggin, end at the toes. I don't we're have anything. Puss. We're the puss. I don't have anything. I don't have any puss products today. I don't either. Okay. Keeping this. Hey, Jay. So my first product is MAC Prep and Prime, which you're probably like, duh, bitches, I've heard of this. Every freaking beauty blogger in the world, especially like five years ago, uses MAC Prep and Prime. A lot of people still do, including Alana Rama. Alana Rama? I don't know. I never know. You yeah, whatever. We'll link her below. Um, she still uses the MAC Prep and Prime, and she specifically mentioned the coconut one. Is this also called Fix Plus? Yeah. Okay, I always get confused because I'm like, Prep and Prime or Flix Plus, or is it all the same? I actually got confused the other day when I was trying to buy it because I think of it as Fix Plus, but it's called Mac. Oh, that might be the line Mac Prep and Pro Prime oh. Fix Plus. Although maybe not. Anyway, it looks like this it's a spray, it's fancy water. Look at these birds. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Those are my babies. That's like a penis colossus on my face. <laughs> a penis colossus? Pina colada. Oh, I was about to say, I was like, what's wrong? But yeah, oh, that is wet. It's wet, but That's honestly, spray, I just like it though. I The coconut for me, I had oh. used Fix Plus, just the regular formula. You had the baby baby. The tried and true. I got it as a sample. I was using it. I liked it. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I saw that there was a coconut one, I was like, I have to have it. Uh, I will say it is, I believe, an Ulta exclusive. I mean, when do you use this in your routine? So do you I use it to prep and prime, as it says. I do both because you can use it as both. I use it. I've used it underneath makeup. I've used it to wet my beauty blender slightly, oh. and I've also used it on top to try and lock it in. And I will say it performs great all the all the time. So I will say I spray it on, and I got to do this. Yeah, but that's okay. Whatever it takes two seconds. I do it too. Um, it's the scent for me though. It was nice. It's a winner. It was subtle but real and then it went away. I don't yeah. smell it any longer. And I think this one actually does have, it's not just scented, it has coconut water in it. Yep, so A plus. Good job, Mac. And it has a locking component. It does have a locking component and so does the mini one. So when you travel, it's great because it won't spill. Oh, and you can just refill your mini. Mm-hmm. That's smart. Yep. I like that. Sometimes I wash my hair. Sometimes I don't. But. Most days don't. Yeah. If I'm if I've gone a while between washing and I've put a lot of dry shampoo and texture spray and hairspray and beach spray and blah, blah, blah spray in my Same. hair, I feel like it gets sticky, sticky, but also Tacky. like if I took a strand of hair and then went like this, I feel like I would have a lot of buildup under my fingernails mm -hmm. from product, sure, product buildup. And so to get rid of that, I've been using the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Triple Detox Shampoo. You might remember, if you've been watching us for a little while, thank you, I purchased this during the Sephora sale, the springtime Sephora sale, because Casey Holmes said, this is really great. I'm not gonna open it because it's disgusting, but it is a charcoal colored shampoo oh. that you massage into your scalp and hair, you let it sit for a couple minutes, and then you rinse it out, and you only use it, so for me, I use it like once every 10 days. <laughs> ish. Uh, it comes with a test strip that lets you test the impurities in your water. So it'll tell you if you have soft, medium, or hard water. I forgot about that. Uh huh. And so you'll know how long you need to leave this sit in your hair. And for me, I have like medium to hard water. So I do leave this sit in my hair for about one to two minutes before I rinse. I follow up with my regular conditioner. My hair feels like brand new baby hair after I use it and it's honestly amazing. I need to try it because I you know our it. water is awful because of the toilet ring that I get. Mm. It's just like 
pervasive. I can never get rid of it. Yeah. I can wash my, t I can clean my bathroom, mm -hmm. and then I went away for a week on vacation, so you nobody's using it. I had the ring. It's when like I came copper out. colored. Ugh. Yeah, it's I disgusting. did that too. Uh, and I will say, the dirtier my hair is, and the longer I've gone in between using this, it doesn't lather really well. But this is extra. If I know I'm gonna use it, I know I've used a lot of product, I will wash my hair with my normal shampoo, which right now is Alterna Caviar, and then I'll go in with this, and it'll strip out everything, and it'll lather really beautifully. I let it sit for one to two minutes, and then I rinse, and then I do my conditioner, and my hair feels like, honestly, fresh baby hair. I've had this, when was the sale, April? Mm-hmm. I probably have half a bottle left. Mm -hmm. So you don't need it often. It's not your everyday shampoo. I think it is about 28 bucks, but completely worth it. We'll absolutely repurchase. It's been such a treat. Okay, the next thing I have was a Costco special. Yeah. If you are not looking for beauty products at Costco, you are doing it wrong. They have started partnering with some of the best brands and come and usually having exclusives. So whether it's the size of the product or shade of the product, you can't get it anywhere else but Costco. Um, but it's some of our favorite stuff, so including Danielle's next, yep, next product. So the one that I picked up recently, I was wandering through and I shit you not, Becca. Costco has Becca products right now. So this is the Becca blush topper. Well, I guess, what do they call it? They call it a luminous blush. Which I guess is true. I, I have attempted to use it as a blush. It is hella pigmented. It is in the shade blushed copper, which I'm so obsessed with right now. I feel like all of my blush tones are all skewing towards like a terracotta coppery color rather than like pinks. Blush me. Oh, that is nice. <gasps> right, it's super silky. It's crazy pigmented. There it is. You can't really tell how pigmented it is, but it has this amazing luminosity. It's like glowy from the inside, like freshly fucked blushy glow. Wow. Mm -hmm. When I did see it in the pan, I was like, oh, that'd be a great eyeshadow. I really want to try it as an eyeshadow now that you mention it. Uh -huh. Even though I have an eyeshadow this color, but um, oh, yeah. that's beautiful. I mean, it's it is so soft. Metallic. It's so soft. And so actually what I've been doing recently is I've been using a Bare Minerals blush oh in you know, like a pressed blush, not one of the like powder ones. Um, and then top, just doing literally like a dab and then whoosh, right across the top. Cause I want the glowiness, but if I were to attempt to use this as just blush, I think I would end up looking like a clown. Um, and they had another shade that I think was pinkier that if I go to Costco again and they have it, I would actually get. <laughs> um, great pack, it's their same packaging. I think it's a little bit smaller than you would get if you were to buy, actually no, I don't know. Have you ever bought one of their blushes? No, but I feel like their highlighter is bigger than that. Why would the highlighter be bigger than a blush? The highlighter is definitely bigger than this. I don't know, the packaging might be slightly smaller than you if you bought a Becca product at Sephora. But it's that UFO packaging. Yeah, but they, but it's the price, I can't remember, I don't remember how much it was, but it was not bad. I literally didn't hesitate at all to purchase it. Oh, good to know. Threw it in the cart. It makes me wanna just put it on as a straight blush to, blush to see what it would look like. Please do. <sighs> if I look jacked for the rest of this <sighs> fucking video, just know. Oh, see, yeah, it's like a little too sparkly, I think. I can't tell yet. In the camera, there's so much. Oh, in the t camera, it looks fine. Oh, even in person. It doesn't look that sparkly, it looks luminous. You're right. <laughs> I don't, you're like, in the camera, I can't even tell. I was like, how do you- I couldn't. <laughs> Somebody's gonna start the video like five minutes in. But in doing... real life, you can hardly tell. But you actually, look... even just doing that? Oh, yeah, you look perfect. Ta-da, blushed. Thank you, Becca. Actually, fuck, I lied. This is great, I love it. I mean, I don't need it as a topper. That's why blush. it's in a favorite. I will say, picking it up with a brush, you're gonna pick up way more product than me just putting yeah. Dee's finger. You gotta tap, tap, tap that off. Yeah, you gotta tap, swirl, buff. Bro, buff, swirl, swirl, tap. Swirl, tap, buff. Sure, whatever, okay. Next. Tap, tap, swirl, tap, buff? Swirl, tap, tap buff. Yeah. yeah. Also found at Costco for <laughs> $6.97 because I bought two the last time I was there. Unbelievable. It literally is unbelievable. It is. I can't believe it. 
but I do because I bought three of them. My favorite dry shampoo. I used this years ago in a, in a, like a trial kit. I forgot how much I loved it. It's the chlorine shampooing sec au lait de vent. Someone okay. come at me. Give me a try. It's a dry shampoo without milk. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. I took French. Shampooing sec au lait de avioni. Yep. That tote sec exactly. it. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's the gentle formula dry shampoo with work. Oh, oh avioni no. is a plant. Sure. Chlorine dry shampoo. I think this is like their go-to dry shampoo. They have a couple versions. This is the good one. It smells amazing. But more than that, it works better. Anyhow, <laughs> this dry shampoo takes away all of the excess oil without leaving me with that awful tacky feeling where I feel like my hair is dirtier yeah. having put dry shampoo in my hair. Totes. I am going way longer in between washes than I was before. Like how long? Like five days. Sure. I feel like at that point, because I do put dry shampoo, mm -hmm. I put texture spray. I think texture spray really fucks everything up. I put aquage in it. I know you don't like that, but I do because I have shorter hair and so I'm like trying to lift it off my scalp. Um, I'm going longer in between washes and Ulta sells this for $20, you guys. Costco sells it for $6.97. That's insane. I don't know, understand how anyone anyone stays in business with Costco. I don't lot. either. It's really, really good. I hope you all try it. We're gonna leave it linked down below. Just trust me. Trust. Someone even DM'd me and they were like, I love that dry shampoo. And I was like, I know, girl. <laughs> trust and believe. We're here for your best interest. And if you wanna do it the right way, spray it in, wash your face, do some, go to the toilet, go make a cup of coffee, and then massage it into your scalp. Mm -hmm. I actually, Let it sit, set uh, and forget it. I really like doing dry shampoo the night before. Yeah, I, I do like too. spraying the dry shampoo, sleeping on it, and then as you sleep and turn, it yep. sort of works it in. It really has time to absorb all those oils, and then in the morning, you're gonna look like you've freaking showered. And you haven't. We all know we haven't. No, we haven't. No. I helped someone move yesterday, and there was a part of me that was like, I think I could just dry shampoo and go to this birthday party later. And then I was like, actually, no way. Nothing can save this. I have someone else's saliva all over my body. I didn't shower. So I drink coffee. I was also, full disclosure, a smoker for a really long time. My teeth were yellowed. I could definitely see that they weren't as white as I want them to be. I also have a fake tooth right in the front that is whiter than my other teeth because it doesn't absorb coffee, wine, blah, 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 colors. The way that dye, the way that natural teeth do. Um, so I have been thinking, I was like, I, I want to whiten my teeth, blah, blah, blah. I was like, maybe I'll go to the dentist and get a whitening treatment. Then they told me how much it was. And I said, not at all going to do that. No. I had also been considering veneers. That's like a hundred, a thousand dollars per tooth. Oh, I'm sorry, what? It might be two. I can't remember. It's crazy. I was like, is there like a payment plan? Can I get some of them? To, can I do like one at a time? They're crazy expensive. Cause I wanted to veneer like all the front. But anyway, wow, bad. Uh, so instead I went to Costco again and bought a bunch. So I would go to Target and I would see Crest White strips and be like, ooh, they're kind of expensive. And then I went to Costco and I got them at a, a much better price. And I got only like two in a pack too. It's got a, yeah, it was two boxes of these. One of them is the one hour express white. And then one is the just regular formula. I used Crest White strips when I was in college and you put them on and they sort of slid around and it was a pain in the butt. They're so much better now. They're like super glue on your teeth. They, if you haven't tried them recently or you haven't ever tried them, I would say do it. It's so easy. I wake up in the morning and as I go to do my makeup, I slap them on my teeth. They stick there and it's not, and I don't have to, with the old ones, I feel like I was constantly <laughs> Yeah. Going like yeah. that. They're not like this. I totally forget about it. It's just on my teeth for, it says 30 minutes, but I just take them off when I'm done doing my hair and makeup. So it might be a little bit longer than that. Um, and it's great. Yeah, they are. I haven't even, I think I've maybe only done 10 strips, maybe 12. 
I haven't done that many, but I can definitely tell a difference in my teeth. Oh yeah. And I'm so happy. Yeah. I have it's a brand way new better than the dentist. A brand new smile. Mm -hmm. Because honestly, I don't want to have to go through all my pictures and go into an app and then zoop, zoop, whiten my teeth. Hell no. I don't have time for that. No, all. we're not those kind of people, but I'm also not a yellow tooth person. No. Ain't happening. No. This next product. I bought it without realizing that Caitlin's sister-in-law wrote in all caps, you have to try Dove Body Polish. Dove all body caps, you have to try it. Unbeknownst to me, I forgot about it. And when I was in Pittsburgh, I went to Mike's local Walmart and I was like, I have to scrub the fake tan off my body or his family will think I'm crazy. <laughs> and so I found this, which is the Dove Body Polish, Exfoliating Body Polish. They have several scents, but the one that I am ride or die for is uh, Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk. It is so good. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same one she uses too. They have like a cucumber one and they have like a pink one. Mm -mm. I don't fuck with any of those. I love it so much. It smells like a dessert, but also like soap. It is an affordable version of, a more affordable version of the Soap, Soap Glory. and Glory body scrubs that I was in love with before. I like this one more because I think it's a little bit more moisturizing while also sloughing off the dead skin. If you paired this with that fucking spin brush, holy oh, yeah. shit. Can we also talk about how the word slough is spelled S-L-O-U-G-H -O -O and it's got a fucking F on it when you say it? Yeah. Slough, sloughing off. Ma, uh, oh, it cough? I don't know about your Rite Aids, but my Rite Aids around here, they've been transitioning to Walgreens, which Ooh. I'm real excited about. And Walgreens is infinitely better. Yeah, so they've been going out of business and marking down everything, and when they marked down these Dove babies, I cleaned the whole shelf off. <laughs> they're all up in Supermarket my- Supermarket sweep. Yeah, they're all up in my uh, beauty closet right now. I use them all the time, especially during the summer when you're trying to prolong the life of your tan, you're trying to get off the old tan to apply new tan. Uh, and they smell fantastic. This leaves a lingering scent on my skin that I don't find offensive. Mm. Uh, I think it does a great job. It's moisturizing while also being exfoliating. I think that's very important. And it's affordable because it's at the drugstore. Thank you, Adil. I apologize for not trying it sooner. <laughs> and she actually did uh, give me a tub of it to try, and I ha I do really like it. But uh, because I think because I have like the mitt and the scrubber thing, I haven't been using like a physical exfoliating product. Yeah. But I it's in there and it does smell great. Uh, I even used it on my bikini line. Ooh. After wax to make sure I don't get no ingress. Hell no! I don't have time for that. So I have some snacky things. So I uh, I tend to not buy pretzels, crackers, chips, whatever. Um, if I have them in my house, I will eat them. I will look like Kirby. Do you remember that Pokemon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's me, like with crunchy, salty snacks. Like I, can we do it again? <laughs> I love a crunch. So I have been buying them. I'm also just trying to cut down my carb intake in general. Um, but I, I don't know, is it, we're snackers. Wait, shit, we're this eaters. is Costco again. I have is three really? products from Costco. I did not see that at Costco. Yeah, so this is, Co so mm -hmm. I, one of my favorite things in, the world is everything bagels, but really like everything bagel spice. So the everything yeah. bagel, bagels, the seasoning from Trader Joe's, like anything that's everything bagel, I want to eat it. Sure. Um, and so I happen to find these at Costco and they're the Gratify Gluten-Free Everything Thins pretzels. And they're vegan. Vegan oven baked zero tra trans fats with sesame, poppy seed, onion, and garlic. Get out of town. Look at them. And I they look like blue jay. I am 100% not the person that's like, mm, gluten free. They're snackable, dippable, delicious. Why are they in jeans? I, I need to know. know. You can email them. Comments at Gratify Foods. I have questions, Gratify. So I will say, they're, they're the, delicious. They are delicious. The flavor is there. The texture is slightly. Oh, no. Yeah. This, oh. I'm going to take this. Little it's crack. fine because I think I have some in a snack bag for, in my lunchbox. So the texture, I 
We ate these at the wine event. If you didn't know that they yes. were gluten free, you might not know. You but know. being told that they're gluten free, I'm like, okay, I can tell that they're made with not wheat flour. I can tell they're made with rice flour. Uh huh. Oh, it's hot so fun. I don't. They're still. They still got the snap. But the flavor is so good. The other Delicious. day, I was that and some guacamole. Holy fuck! You no, know, my thing was I had some leftover mascarpone cheese mm -hmm. from when I made that icebox cake, and I I came home um after you know and need a little snacky snack, and I was dipping those in mascarpone cheese. Yeah. Oh, delicious. They are oh. really good. Mhm. Mm so good. So if you like garlic breath, if you like onion, if you like seeds, delish. Mm -hmm. Again, we've been watching Alana Rama. That bitch. She really makes me spend so much money. Yeah, she does. She's got supple skin, and I want that. Mm -hmm. And during the summertime, I want to wear more cream products because I feel like for some reason they are longer, longer lasting on my face when I'm outside sweating in the sun, which is shocking. Uh, and so Nude Sticks makes some really good cream makeup products, you guys. Easy to use, no fuss. I've been using this freaking Bondi Bay bronzer. It's amazing. It comes with a stubble brush on the end. I will say if I were in a pinch, I could use it because it does feel really well made and nice quality, but it's very tiny for the areas I want to stipple. It's a great bronzer. It's very cool toned, fantastic. My favorite thing though has been the blush and this is Cherry Blossom Babe. This blush is, it's just so good. It's just so good. Mm -hmm. I wear it all the time. Mm -hmm. It blends out really well. I will say this is a little bit more emollient than the bronzer, which I think is nice because I want my cheeks to look a little bit more dewy than like the perimeter of my face. <laughs> and then to top it off, I've been using this Hey Honey bron or, uh, highlight. highlight, which again has that really nice wet look without looking like, girl, you put glitter on your face. I feel like this is the perfect... I'm at the beach, I'm at the lake, I'm somewhere near water, I'm sweating beautifully. Glistening. I'm glistening in the sun. You want to look wet and glowy and hoey, put this on your face. The products have not broken me out. They're very easy to use, very easy to blend. I'm into them. And most often of the time, I'm just putting it on with my fingertips. I was gonna say, they're, they're easy to whack it on. I put it on, I whack it on with the thing and then I blend it in with my fingertips. It's great. Love it. And the last thing that I have, so I went on a, tri I went on a trip recently. I went on a trip with my aunts. We were gonna be sharing hotel rooms. We we're gonna be sharing a tree house. I don't wear pajamas. Nope. I sleep in the nude. Uh, but I didn't think that would be appropriate with my aunt in the room. So I decided that I wanted to get some jammies. I had also been thinking because I feel like what I end up wearing around the house a lot is leggings. And for some reason they just are suffocating my goddamn legs and I wanted my legs out, mm -hmm. but I don't own shorts. I'm not gonna wear legs. Wait, I don't want my legs out, but I want my legs out. Right. And I was wearing just a robe but I have a roommate and that felt inappropriate because I was like borderline about to flash her my snatch 24 seven. But anyway, so I was online and I couldn't believe it. I found these really cute jammies. I did buy them uh, a size up, which I would say is actually because it's the plus line is almost, it's almost two sizes up because they're a 2022 and I wear like a 16 in their clothes. Do you recommend sizing up? Well, uh, I feel like, who wants suffocating pajamas? I do not want form-fitting pajamas. I want to feel like I'm not wearing anything. That's exactly what I want. I want to feel like I'm wearing one of my really great robes, but just with crotch coverage. Yes. Pretty much. And so I bought them giant. I mean, you can kind of tell they could take up this whole thing, but it's this really wonderful kind of stretchy, drapey, but kind of thick, so it's not clingy. Let me see what it's it is. It's like the Gilligan O'Malley fabric. Yes, that's exactly how I would describe it. It is 95% rayon and 5% spandex. It's delicious. Um, yeah, it's very soft. So I bought it giant. It's this really cute little, what do they call this? Like ditzy floral. Is that what they keep calling it? Probably. Um, it's adorable. The only thing, and it comes with little shorts. I will say the elastic is really thick, 
so it does tend to hmm. want to ride up and mm -hmm. sit at the smallest part of my waist, which is not really where I want them. Covers, much. It doesn't cover your whole butt when that happens. No, and when I was sleeping in them, my ass was eating them. For the, I mean, it worked. You just have, to, I just had to make sure to like pull them down before That's I got awesome. out of bed yeah. because otherwise it's like I'm naked. Um, but yeah, cute. they're so comfortable. I think the only thing that I am disappointed by is that this is the only pattern they had. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Make them other patterns. I would buy three sets of these. They have other pajamas, but they're not this material. No, Which I suck. I oh, did we say that's from Loft? They're from Loft. Uh, I'm from Loft. This glides over my lumps and bumps in a way that I'm very happy with. My last favorite is a food item, and I think it's delicious. I love a root beer float. I love a push pop. And so when Mike and I saw the Barks frozen root beer and vanilla ice cream float push pops at the grocery store, I nearly had a heart attack. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm just getting eaten frying. Uh, they're fantastic. They come in these adorable little, mm -hmm. like the Minute Maid icy things. Oh, what's that? Ooh, Minute Maid makes frozen lemonades in this. Did not know that. They are delicious. It's like this little cardboard container. Hey. You pop the lid off, you squeeze it up, and it's a root beer float in your mouth. And not in a bad way, in the best way ever. Not in a bad way. No. How would it be a bad way? Because in my mind, I was like, this isn't going to taste like a real root beer float. I would think that the root beer portion would be really like icy and weird. It's not. It's creamy and delicious. Probably because they use like a syrup. It's only 90 calories. That's amazing. It's so good. Oh, it's different than I thought. It's creamier than I thought. Oh, it's like fucking ice cream. Oh, I thought it was going to be more like root beer icy. Mm -mm. I was an avid lover of the Schwann's man as a child. You know there's freaking caffeine in that? Yeah. What? There's no caffeine in root beer. They added it. Fuckers. <laughs> I loved the Schwann's man as a kid, and the Schwann's man made a push pop root beer float that was like the orange, the orange cream sickle kind the, with the stick. And it was my favorite snack as a kid, and this tastes just like it. I don't even know what the Schwann man is. I mean, what? I've seen the trucks, but I, I don't even know if they're around anymore. I saw the trucks, but I don't know what they do. Recently? No, I don't know. <sighs> Recently? No, what, what do they do? They deliver really good food to your house, frozen food. Mm -hmm. And they wear up, do you order them for like a catalog or? Yeah. Or they just come to your house and they're like, here's what we have today, ma'am. And you're like, yes, I will take all the ice cream you make. What? Are you looking it up? Yeah. That's not how you spell it. There you go. Schwann. <gasps> it still exists. Oh my God. Mike and I both 50% love... off your first purchase. Stop it. Let's see what they got. Their frozen pizzas are Mike's favorite in the whole world. That looks awful. Well, yeah. That's on the front page. Their ice cream is what they're known for. That's six pieces of fucking vegetables. Their ice cream is what they're known for. Listen, is if it? you ever had Schwann's man ice cream or woman ice cream, Summer Dreamsicle ice cream? Yes. Their ice cream is what they're known for. That is, and their ice cream sandwiches. Everything that came frozen and was an ice cream treat, you know what I'm talking about. They made these and they were, look it up. Look and see if they have root beer float things. Chocolate, <gasps> chocolate malt. I really like malt. Caitlin, I'm gonna make this a video. Me ordering from the Schwann's man. You can come over and we can pick what you want. Ooh, yeah. Stro Ugh. their ice cream is the best. It used to come in a cardboard container that you would have to like flip the lid back down onto and like put it in the hole like you do with cereal. Oh. And that's how you got oh it's so good. They have silver mint ice cream bars. It's like those are good too. Those are really good. Very minty. <laughs> okay, we finished this video. It only took us seven hours. No. It took us a lot of hours. It took us four hours to record two videos you're welcome uh so you know these are our favorite things let us know down below in the comments what your favorite things are right now yeah we would love to know let us know if you're loving these things if you're gonna try them out if you hate them if you yeah. hate root beer let sound off in the goddamn comments come at me with your hate for something that i love <laughs> i dare you <laughs> Actually, we have a rule that we don't engage with people that are mean to us on the internet, so we wouldn't respond. But 
you're welcome to. Um, I dare you to try. <laughs> I dare you to try. But yeah, so thank you as always for watching. Please like and subscribe. Ring that little bell so you get notifications with every new video. Share our videos. Give us a thumbs up. Share our videos. Send them literally to your entire company. Um, Watch our last video. Watch our next video. Watch all the videos. Watch all the videos. We love you. We appreciate it. Hope you're having a wonderful summer day. We are back in business. Summer is hard though, so we probably will be a little bit more sporadic with our videos. But just know, we're always thinking about you. <laughs> we're always thinking about you. That's true. Thoughts and prayers. Mm, peace and blessings. <laughs> so yeah. Peace and blessings. I don't know where that came from. If you have any requests, leave them below. We did get a request to do a like facials video, not us getting facials, oh, but we did. yeah. Oh. Somebody asked us to do like pros and cons. Pros, everything, cons, nothing. <laughs> Money. Oh, it's gonna die. Okay, bye. bye. We love you. We'll see you next time. Bye, 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 bye. bye.